Hello, welcome to The Nut Show, hosted by Colin Nutley, where we focus on current events all around the sports world. This episode of The Nut Show is brought to you by Tetherwood Country Golf. Go to your kids, family, friends to some fun and excitement with a free round of mini golf when using code NUT at checkout. Today, we will be going to the college football world as we ask ourselves, is NIL ruining college football? Because of the recent NCAA decisions of allowing NIL, college athletes are now allowed to be paid. But with no regulations, NIL is making the sport pay to play, where essentially, teams with the money and willing to pay will get the best players and in my opinion, have an unfair advantage on other schools. Okay, first, let's talk about the controversial decision from around one year ago that allowed the NIL. This decision had many of critics with lots to say about how athletes should not be paid and how it will ruin the game. So, I thought that taking a look into these athletes' schedule could put aside that debate. So here it is. First, these athletes are usually waking up around 5 a.m. for a morning workout. Then we'll have a team meeting till around 8.30. Then they will have to rush to classes all throughout the day. After classes, the athletes will usually have to watch film with coaches, prepare for practice, then practice, which usually ends around 6.30. This schedule from NCISA recruiting site doesn't account any time for eating, transportation, schoolwork, or any time for themselves. I think comparing the schedule to some of ours and saying that these athletes should not be paid is insane, especially taking into account these athletes are making millions for universities, networks, the NCAA, etc. Also, according to ESPN, only 60% of these D1 athletes are receiving scholarship money. This means that these same college athletes that are bringing all this money for all the others are paying for their schooling. So now that we discussed the decision of NIL being made and how it has positively affected these college athletes and rewarded them for their contributions to making all this money for others and not themselves, now we can get into some of the negatives that the NIL has brought to the college football community. To begin, The NIL has caused a substantial increase in players entering the transfer portal. This is caused by NIL because these athletes are now thinking of their career financially and now are just going to the school that offers the most money and where they could benefit most by having sponsorships, autographs, social media, etc. According to The Athletic, 1,127 players entered the transfer portal in 2023. This represents a 44% increase. This is causing an uneven playing field because some of these schools have different laws, which makes these athletes be lured to the schools that have more to offer. Which really, they're just lured to more money. According to NCSA recruiting, eight states have no laws, one state declined having any laws, seven states have proposed a law that is still in legislation, and the rest have all passed laws. With these states being at different points of passing laws and different regulations in some states, athletes can make more money. So why would these athletes decline that offer for less? They won't, which is causing this uneven playing field in the college football world. So you might ask, what can the NCAA do to prevent the NIL decision from giving teams an advantage in the future? Find out after we take this short break to talk to you about our sponsor, Tetherwood Country Golf. Did you hear that? That's the sound of setting a goal and achieving it. Taking it slow, grasping the club gently, and focusing in on the ball. Lining up the stroke, and in it goes. Cheer your kids to some family fun and excitement while teaching them the value of setting a goal and achieving it. Tetherwood Country Golf, it's more than just mini putt. Once again, thanks to our sponsor, Tetherwood Country Golf. And now, back to the nut show. Seeing the problems the NIL is causing in college football, we ask ourselves the question, how can it be controlled and only used for positive? One solution could be the NCAA pushing for a national law or regulations that applies to all the schools, and at least make an attempt to keep the playing field even. As of right now, the NCAA, in my opinion, looks lost and confused, which has caused a few free-for-all in the college football world with players, money, university, etc. Another solution I could see helping NIL comes with the players having to stay more true to their commitment to a school. Before the NCAA passed NIL, they passed a rule where players no longer had to sit a year after they transfer. This rule, when in place, had most players staying true to their commitments 
and had less players transferring because they didn't want to